Tonight, we're learning this wasn't the first time McKinney has been accused of battering women. Well, News for Jack's reporter Eric Abanye has been digging deeper into McKinney's troubled past, and Eric is joining us now to tell us what, she, what he's learned. Eric? Well, I've learned a well, I've learned a lot, but first off, I want to say that earlier today, that warrant was issued for McKinney's arrest for an incident that did happen last Friday night. It was just, like you said, nearly three hours ago when JSO officers arrived at his Arlington home to take him into custody after receiving a tip that he would be there. Now, we've been, like you said, been digging deep into his past and learned that he is definitely no stranger to police. While still visibly bruised, domestic battery victim Kelsey Lee is breathing a sigh of relief now that her ex-boyfriend, Ryan McKinney, is finally in police custody. She says last Friday he repeatedly punched and strangled her while she held on to their two-week-old baby. All you women out there who are going through this, this is what you need. This is what you need to do. This is the right way to handle your things. You make sure that you go to the police and you make sure that you call them if you ever in your life get hurt. Court records show that McKinney has been arrested several times for battery. In Nassau County, McKinney was convicted in 2009 and 2011 for domestic battery. In 2013, he was arrested for aggravated battery on a pregnant person and felony domestic battery. Prosecutors dropped the battery charge on a pregnant person and adjudication was withheld on the felony domestic battery charge in that case. In Duval County, he was convicted in 2012 for battery. Then in March of 2015, he was arrested after he was accused of beating his ex-wife. According to this police report, McKinney beat her because she allowed a black man to enter their home. The report even goes on to state that he called his ex-wife an N-word lover. But two months later, the case was dropped. Karen Wilson is a service manager for Hubbard House, a place that helps women who are victims of domestic abuse. She says it's common for domestic abuse cases to get dropped or pleaded down when either the victim doesn't cooperate with prosecutors or the abuser hires a really good lawyer. And once they get an attorney, they may plead the case down to once again a misdemeanor. And then once that is downplayed to a misdemeanor, they feel that, okay, I've gotten away with it, nothing seriously has happened to me then I can go and do this again. In this case, McKinney will face three felony charges of child abuse, battery, and battery by strangulation, charges that, if convicted, will put him away for several years. Now, McKinney's bond was set at $51,000, and we want to take this time to just let everyone know that if you or someone you know has dealt with a similar situation or is going through a similar situation, help is just a phone call away. You can call that number that's on the screen. That's to the Hubbard House, uh, and also uh, you can contact the Hubbard House through their 24-hour hotline and talk to someone who is experienced in dealing with domestic abuse. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Jail, Eric Avignet, Channel 4. For the local station.